Hello. This is my first ever YouTube video that I have created. I have a channel and no videos. I've been cleaning up a lot of the papers in my home and one thing I found were, were two stories. Well, one a finished story, one I don't think it was finished story from I don't know when that I wrote a while back. So for anyone needing a very friendly, easy, listening, child-centered story to go to bed to, to read to a kid, to calm them down, just for your own entertainment, I present this untitled story. Here we go. I won't go, said Amanda Bell. Please, dear, begged her mother. No, Amanda shouted. Mrs. Bell threw up her hands and left the room. Amanda's brother, Max, had a band concert that night, and the whole family was going. Max played the trombone. Amanda covered her ears whenever he played. He's terrible, she would shout to her father over Max's practicing. That's not nice, Amanda, her father would reply. But Amanda could tell that her father thought Max was a terrible trombone player, too. Amanda, if you don't change your clothes and come downstairs this instant, you will be grounded for the rest of the week, shouted Mrs. Bell. I'm not going, was Amanda's final reply. I'll stay here with her, said Mr. Bell to Mrs. Bell. Mrs. Bell eyed her husband. She knew this was not a huge sacrifice on his part. But she said, all right. And she and a pouting Max and his trombone left. It's just you and me, kid, called Mr. Bell up the stairs. It was quiet for a moment. Really? called Amanda. Yep. So you want to make ice cream sundaes or have a water balloon fight? asked Mr. Bell. His answer came running down the stairs. Sundays! yelled Amanda gleefully. Two hours later, Amanda and her father sat, stuffed sick with ice cream, on the sofa. I can't move, said Mr. Bell. Me either, said Amanda. She groaned. We better get cleaned up before your mom and Max get back. Okay, said Amanda, and she tried to stand up. She couldn't. Her dad got up and helped Amanda get to her feet. Then he turned to wash, no, sorry. This kind of messy handwriting. Then he turned toward the stairs. Amanda followed. Where are you going, kid? Her father asked. Upstairs to get cleaned up. Same as you, said Amanda. Well, you should probably start in the kitchen, said her father, mounting the stairs. There's hot fudge all over the floor. Aren't you gonna help me, said Amanda. I better take a nap before I do that, but you go ahead and get started, said Mr. Bell over his shoulder. Amanda was left at the bottom of the stairs. Great, she thought to herself. Now I have to clean up all by myself. When Mrs. Bell and Max returned, they found Amanda mopping the kitchen floor. Looks like you had fun instead of going to my concert, said Max with a smirk. I did, smarty pants, said Amanda. Dad and I made ice cream, made Sundays just for us. Where is your father, asked Mrs. Bell. Sleeping, said Amanda. He didn't even help me clean up. Is this what you wanted to do instead of going to my concert? Asked Max. No, of course not, said Amanda. Dad and I made Sundays and it got a little messy. Oh, said Max. Then he took his trombone and went upstairs. Sorry, some interference. Thanks. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Are you messing me up? Is something wrong with him? Amanda asked her mother. He really wanted you to be there, Amanda. He's heard that you didn't want to go. But he's terrible, Mom. I can't stand to listen to him. He's still learning. He can only get better, her mother replied. Then she and Amanda looked at each other and laughed. Later that night, Amanda knocked on Max's door. Who is it? said Max through the door. It's me, said Amanda. Go away, shouted Max. I've got ice cream, said Amanda. Can you not? There was silence. Then, okay, Max opened the door. Amanda had brought him a hot fudge sundae piled with whipped cream, nuts, and strawberries. Amanda handed it to him. Thanks, said Max. I'm so Best laid plans. Really? You're ruining the whole flow. You're ruining the whole flow. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't go to your concert, Max, said Amanda. That's okay, said Max. I stink. Amanda smiled. Yeah, you do, but you won't always. Thanks, said Max again. He smiled too. Just then, Mr. Bell came out of his room. Amanda saw him. Dad, have you been asleep this whole time? I had to clean the kitchen all by myself. Oh, I'm sorry, said Mr. Bell. It must have slipped my mind. As he passed them, Mr. Bell winked at Max. 
There's a, I don't know, the Amanda Max trombone Sunday story. Okay, bye.